Howdy everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com, and today we're going to talk about the Ancient People's Trial Steeple, which is uh, the new thing that's popping up all over the map now. You see the announcements about it in Kingdom Chat, everything else like that. It looks like that, it looks like a big spire on the map. We did a little bit of basic information on it whenever it first came out, but now this is going to be more in-depth. Uh, if you want to see a fully in-depth article on it, uh, written out, including images that show exactly what you should send at every single floor, 1 through 60 if you're having issues. Those images will help you out with that, and it'll also explain how and why we're doing what we do. But I'm also going to go through that in this video. I'm going to show you some different floors, some different information. It's the best way to take out these floors and exactly why we're doing it. Because when you're attacking these steeples, you only get your hero stats from hero gear, and your auras, which you equip, which are massive. The single biggest thing you can do to help you kill a steeple would be to equip auras. And then your runes, which are also extremely huge because you get full stats from your first hero. And then also your command center matters. Your command center level is what deems how many troops you can send. And then also, obviously, if you have any uh, gear set bonuses, that's going to help as well. But that's why your marches are so much smaller against these steeples, is because it's only based on your command center and then any set bonuses you might have off of uh, gear. Uh, plus 5, plus 10, plus 15 bonuses. So the gear on your main hero, you're only going to get 10% of the stats from it. That's why your stats, whenever you attack, look real low. You're only getting 10% of those stats from that gear. On your deputy hero, you're only getting 1% of the stats from the gear on your deputy hero. You're only getting 10% of the stats on everything else on your deputy hero. So your deputy is very important, don't get me wrong. But the gear on your deputy is far less important because you're only getting 1% of the stats from it. That said... Every little bit matters once you're uh, really close on a floor, and that's where auras come into play, that's where runes come into play, and your runes, you just want to set them all to all attack. And the reason for that is because what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be not always sending leverage types. If you look at the images that I post in that uh, post that I've got linked down in the, in the video description, you'll see that we are not always leveraging the attack. We're usually leveraging the attack. Sometimes what we have to do is we have to avoid the stats on the steeple level. So let's look at this one right here and I'll give you an example of that. This is floor 44. You see that it's got uh, nearly even stuff. It's got more archers and cav and a little bit less infantry and then a lot less siege. Scroll down, it's got troop HP increase. So because that's split up like that, you're basically just going to want to send your strongest hero. And there are some floors that are like that, like uh, floor 44 uh, you know, we, we recommend sending cab at this one just because there are more cab and archers. This is up to 46 now. Looking at 46, you see there's more cab, and then there's even everything else, but there's a basic cavalry HP increase of 500. And that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about avoiding these stats. Those stats are massive. 500 basic cab HP increase makes it really hard to kill those cabs. So even though there are that many of them, you might do better sending something else. So against floor 46, we recommend sending cab against that. Against 47, we also recommend sending cab against that. If it doesn't work, go to your infantry, try to use your infantry, try to use your leverage. But what we're doing with that is we're avoiding those stats. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about up on some really high levels. Um, so basically, you don't always want to send the leverage type. Uh, if in doubt, send the leverage type. But also check this article, check the images that I posted and we'll show you a little bit more about what I'm talking about with this. Just because of the way these stats play out, those stats get really huge on these steeple levels and it gets hard. So you see floor 55, lots of tier 7 infantry, even everything else. Think we should send archers, right? Probably. But if you scroll down and you look at the test info, um, well, I didn't do it right there, but on floor 55, if you look at the test info, that gives you 500 base infantry HP, or it has 500 base infantry HP, 30 base infantry defense, and 40% troop HP. So those infantry are extremely, extremely tough. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to show you, you know, one way to skin a cat, which is I take my archer heroes. You see one with plus 15 new gear and one with plus 15 old gear. I stick a mighty aura on each one of those because, as I said, aura is massive, as are the runes that you're using. Aura is absolutely huge. I wouldn't recommend using a mighty one on the secondary one like I did, but... Uh, that's, you know, because you're only getting one, or sorry, 10% of those stats. So you'll actually only get three increased. If you use a normal one, you get one and a half increased. So you're only gaining 1.5 increase for using a mighty over a regular one. So unless you are like 2,000 troops off of beating one of these levels, uh, the mighty on the, on the secondary hero is not going to make that much of a difference. But uh, 
look at floor 54 here while we're waiting on my march to go through and you see that this one had uh, lots of cav, lots of archers. You would think that you'd want to send infantry at 54, but you definitely don't want to. You want to send cav at floor 54 because that way you're not hitting the archers. So you see floor 55, I was able to just brute force through it. I sent my archers at it and uh, let's go look at this and you see how close this battle was. I killed 243, I lost 228. So that was very close on floor 55, and that's using Mighty Auras, which is basically going all in. And now let's look at floor 56. And on a side note, if you're having a problem with a specific floor, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know, ask a question, um, check out ironthronecraft.com, the article on there. Uh, but leave a comment and ask a question, I'll try to help out as much as I can. But you see floor 56 popped up to 57 for a second, but floor 56 has a ton of archers in it. So it looks like you're going to want to send Cav at it. And... If you don't check the stats, you definitely think you want to send Cav at it, because you see that so many more archers than everything else. But as we're about to find out, you don't necessarily want to send Cav at it. I'm going to send Cav at this one. This is my Cav hero. I'm going to go, I'm going to pop a Mighty Aura on each one of those. You see my runes are a lot less enhanced on Cav than they were on archers, which is also a huge deal, because you get all of those rune stats on your primary hero. So having increased, uh, increased rune level is very important. But I'm going to put a Mighty Aura on each one of my Cav heroes. So there's my primary one plus 15 new gear. Here's my secondary one plus 15 old gear. I go, I pop a Mighty Cav Aura on this one as well. And now I'm going to hit floor 56 with Cav and try it out. But the problem is floor 56 has a stat total of 1,200 base Archer HP. That's not 1,200% Archer HP. That's 1,200 base Archer HP like from the troop, uh, troop training tree, which is huge. It's also got 30% archer attack and 45% troop HP. So because of that 1,200 archer HP, look at that. I sent Cav, even though it's heavy on archers, I lost. I only killed 190k. I lost 227k. You scroll down, you see that right there. Basic archer HP increase. That's the big deal. That is what you need to look at on these. If you lose, you look at it and you see that right there, basic archer HP increase, that's huge, and it's this stat down here, right, scroll down, it's that one right there. Basic Archer HP increase, 1200. That is a massive amount of extra HP. So because of that, what we're going to do is we're actually going to avoid that stat. We're not going to send the leverage type troop at the one that is just stacked on stats. And there are a lot of floors that are like this. Floor 55 is stacked for infantry. Um, floor... 50 is stacked for infantry as well. You know, there's a, there's a lot of these all through the steeple. You look at those charts and I'll sh and I'll sh you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. And you'll see on these charts a lot of times where I've given two options. Send this if that doesn't work, send this. And that's just because you might have a stronger hero. So what we're doing now is we're sending our archer heroes at floor 56. And that is because of all of that base archer HP and 30% archer attack. And boom. Success. We won even though we sent what wasn't leveraged. And that is because archers don't have an affinity towards archers. Uh, keep in mind, you don't get any research, so you don't have any of that affinity reduction, any of that leverage uh, increase, anything else like that. And you see how many more we killed? We killed 269k. So we actually killed an additional 70,000 troops, even though we sent archers instead of cap against a whole ton of archers. Now, floor 57 is where it starts to get a little bit ridiculous. Um, floor 57 has troop defense, Siege HP and troop HP increase and so 57 58 59 and 60 all have split stats and they all have a ton of tier 7 So once you get up into those levels, it's basically you have to have perfect gear perfect auras perfect runes perfect everything and it gets really rough at that point 58 59 and 60 are the same way But what I wanted to show you there with floor 56 specifically because there's a very good example of it is avoiding the stats on the level that you're trying to hit rather than just focusing on the leverage, usually will work better than focusing on the leverage, assuming those stats are high. Uh, if you're at the lower levels, if you're at one through 30, those are what I would consider the lower levels. And so that just comes down to troop tier and your gear and your runes. Um, and if you pop an aura on those ones, you're gonna be pretty good to go if, you're, if your gear is okay. Um, from what I've found, you don't really ever wanna be sending split troops. You it's it's not working um i could i'm you know that's subject to change disclaimer i'm subject to change that later at a later date if i figure something out more information becomes available somebody smarter than me comes along and figures it out then uh, that might change but uh dark lord and majestic and everything else like that usually get worse results 
especially if you're sending multiple troop types. And that's just because the stats are so focused down. You're only getting 10% of your gear stats. So you really need to squeeze every single drop that you can out of those gear stats and those runes and those auras and everything else like that. And if you're trying to split it two ways, you're just really not going to get enough bang for your buck to take out these floors. So what you need to do is you need to look at the stats provided by the floor and you need to send based on that. Uh, there, like I said, there are some floors where the, the spread is just massive. There's a gajillion infantry and there's only a little bit of cav. Um, so that means you're going to want to send archers, even if the stats are, you know, base a little bit higher for infantry. But these are the images that I was talking about. You go to ironthronecraft.com, check out our article. You see that? I'm not going to really go into it, but it's color-coded, tells you what to send per level. And you see here, floor 56 is red. That means we recommend sending archers, even though you see that they have that many archers. So feel free, leave a comment, and let me know if you're having a problem with a specific level, and I'll try to help you out with it. Give me a like, give me a follow. Thanks for watching, everybody.